Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to use simultaneous equations to solve a simple problem of money. And the problem we have is the weekly wages of five carpenters and three apprentices amount to $9,750 and the wages of three carpenters and five apprentices amount to $8,090 use simultaneous equations to determine the weekly wages of a carpenter and an apprentice. Uh, to solve this problem, first of all we have to uh, represent um, the wages of carpenters and represent the wages of an apprentice. So we're going to let x equal the weekly wages of a carpenter and we're going to let y equal the weekly wages of an apprentice. Okay, sorry my writing isn't very neat, I'm still learning how to write with a mouse. Um, now that we've got our um, X and Y representations of what we want to find, uh, let's formulate two equations to uh, help us solve the problem. So the weekly wages of five carpenters, so 5X and three apprentices plus three y is equal to nine thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars we'll call this equation one and the weekly wages of three carpenters so three x and five apprentices plus five y amounts to uh, eight thousand and ninety dollars and we'll call that equation two now we have two simultaneous equations and that we can use either the method of substitution or the method of elimination to solve I'm going to choose uh, to use the method of substitution and uh, because I think it's a little bit easier in this case than to use the method of elimination. In order to do that, um, we're, going to have to, we're going to have to substitute one equation into the other. So I'm going to manipulate one of the equations and I'm going to choose to manipulate question two, uh, sorry, equation two. So, equation 2 implies that um, I'm going to eliminate, uh, so I'm going to substitute for the uh, y variable, so I'm going to get the y variable in terms of x. So, equation 2 implies that 5y is equal to 8,090 minus 3x and then to get y on its own we simply divide both sides of this by 5 so we'll end up with 5 y sorry y is equal to uh, 8090 minus 3x all over 5 Simplifying this equation, we'll get uh, y is equal to 1618, 1618, minus 3 on 5x. So, 
we now have uh, the variable y in terms of written in terms of x. So let's call this equation three. And now we can substitute um, for the variable y into uh, equation one. So we can substitute y is equal to we can substitute y is equal to 1618 minus three fifths of x into the variable y in equation one. So let's do that. So equation one implies that five x plus three times sixteen eighteen minus three fifths of x is equal to nine seven zero and then expanding through with a three we'll get five x plus four eight five four minus nine x uh, so nine fifths of x is equal to nine seven five zero. Okay, the next step is to uh, collect the like terms together, which is x. So we've got a 5x and a 9 fifths of x. So we're going to have to find the um, common, de common denominator between 9 fifths and 5. Um, 5x is equivalent to 25 on 5. So 25 on 5x plus 4, 8, sorry, 4, 8, 5, 4, minus 9 fifths is equal to 9, 7, 5, 0. And now 25 fifths of x minus 9 fifths of x will give us 16 fifths of x plus 4854 is equal to 9750. And this gives us the opportunity now to solve directly for x. So if we subtract uh, this 4854 from both sides of the equation, we'll end up with 16 fifths of x is equal to 9750 minus 4854, which works out to be 4896. And so x is equal to if we times this side by 5 over 16, we'll get x on its own. 4, 8, 9, 6 times 5 on 16, which is equal to 1, 5, 3, 0. So we found that x, which is the weekly wage of a carpenter, is 1,000. $530. Now that we have the solution to one variable, we can find the solution to the other variable, y, by substituting it into uh, any equation that we formulated. Um, well, since we formulated equation 3, uh, it's simply a matter of uh, substituting our solution for x into equation 3. You know, it's easy, easiest to do that because then we don't have to uh, do any manipulations of um, either of the original equations. So let's do that. So 3 
700. So therefore the weekly wages of a apprentice is $700. So we have demonstrated how to use simultaneous 